scatteredatcoach.com. Case 1000, amazing progress. From beginner to expert surgeon, just 1,000 cases. Here's how it's done. Now, the surgeon sent in a video previously of case 500. And since that case, wow, a tremendous amount of progression here. So you can see starting off making two incisions. There are pairs of these and a main incision. Now probably going in with some anesthetic or maybe some agents to help dilate the pupil more. Here comes the viscoelastic. Nice good fill of viscoelastic here. Now we've sped the video up so we can get through the whole case in a relatively short amount of time. But what's impressive here is that the surgeon has learned some great techniques here. So obviously starting off at case one at some point, now this is case 1,000, four steps only to get the rexus done. A nice solid rexus. Let's see the size of the rexus. That looks good. Now the pupil in this case is not the biggest, so maybe a five to five and a half millimeter pupil. So certainly you want to have a nice generous rexus here, and that looks pretty good. Now let's see the higher dissection. Now what do you think is going to be the technique of nucleofractus? I haven't watched the video yet. I'm watching for the first time with you. So now let's see, hydro dissection there, more hydro dissection, get this thing rotating. If it does not spin, you will not win, but it's spinning, you're gonna win. So this looks very good. And now that it's spinning, let's see the technique. So surgeon looks like just using coaxial lighting, those two dots of light on the corneal surface there. And that's why the periphery looks very dark. And let's see, phaco probe going in here. And let's see the position. We're going bevel up or down. Looks like bevel up. And then cleaning up the cortex. All right. All right, all right. Let's see the technique here. Looks like a chop. So let's see the chop technique here. Buzzing with the phaco probe. Getting a good purchase on that nucleus. Ding, 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 says the machine right now. Horizontal chop. Beautifully done. So efficient. Rotating that nucleus. Beautiful nucleofractus technique here. I do like... This horizontal chop technique, it looks really good. First piece coming out of the bag already. So taking this piece down, certain here has made a tremendous amount of progress. This is fantastic. For case 1000, you're doing beautifully. Keep up the hard work. And the surgeon also was very kind in saying that a lot of good pearls were learned from cataractcoach.com. So here are the pieces coming out. You can see the pupil is going to come down a little bit. Maybe this patient has uh, IFIS, Flomax, Temsilos, and you, something of this nature. And so getting these pieces chopped and emulsified. And again, yeah, we sped the video up. That's okay. We just want to get through it in an efficient amount of time. Plus, we know the young generation who watches these videos, they want it now. They want it fast. So you got half the nucleus out of the bag. Let's see what we're going to do here. A recoating of the endothelium and maybe fill in the bag with a little viscoelastic. That sounds like a pretty good move. Pushing the posterior capsule back. Now get this piece rotated. And now buzz in the middle. Let's get another good chop going. And then there's another good chop. Nicely done here. There's something very satisfying about doing phaco chop. I know you can be a good surgeon and do divide and conquer your whole career, but I promise if you do learn chop, I promise you'll never go back to divide and conquer. It's just such a fun technique and it's so efficient. It really brings a level of pleasure to cataract surgery that is just something you should definitely experience. So there you go. Cleaned up real nicely. Get all those little fragments out. And as we switch over to the IA probe, let me tell you about cataractcoach.com, our teaching website. You want to be a better surgeon? There's so many great resources there. You've got the free PDF book. You've got the curriculum series. You've got a link to the podcast. You've got an incredible search engine. You can search anything. You can search all the beginning cases if you want to see. You can see all capsule rupture cases. You can see all anterior trachomy cases, all posterior polar cases. Anything you want to do, it's all super categorized. That's the best part of it. All 2,200 and something videos, all there. So now cortex removal is going to be pretty efficient here. And we'll get the lens into the end and call this a day. So yeah, routine case, but surgeons made some great progress and obviously bringing a lot of happiness to the patients there in the clinic. So removing that lens cortex. Now, why the pupil expand a little bit? Well, maybe some higher infusion pressure from the um, IA probe is helping push that open. And that pupil may come down here at the end. Maybe a little bit of capsule polish in there. Yep, I like to do that too. I don't want to leave any smudgy lens of material on the posterior capsule if I can help it. And then now once it's cleaned up, let's see what we're going to do for the lens. So in a case like this, sometimes I'll also go in with a chopper and lift up the iris. 
after I get the eye on the bag with the AC full of viscoelastic, I'll use the chopper, lift up the eyes just to make sure there are no lens material pieces underneath it and no cortex left in the bag. There's the viscoelastic, probably a cohesive agent. Here comes the lens. It looks like a single piece of acrylic. Yep, get that in the capsular bag. Delivered pretty nicely. And now you can see, yeah, that's about a five millimeter pupil. So that Rex is what you thought looked too big is just about perfect. Ah, yay, yeah, doing the technique what I just described. Using an instrument to lift up that iris jazz to make sure nothing's remaining there. Now let's see, you're gonna go behind the optic, move viscoelastic, indeed. Fantastic, I am loving it, awesome. So great job, proud of you, made a lot of progress here. And your patients are obviously getting great results and are very happy. You can also send in your video. If you go to cataractcoach.com, the teaching website, there's a link that says, Doctor, submit your video here. And all you have to do is just follow the directions. Again, cataractcoach.com, there'll be a link. Doctor, submit your videos. Keep in mind that we get 30 to 50 videos a week, so we can't feature all of them, but we'll try to feature yours, especially if it's good. And remember, new podcast every single week, everywhere you find podcasts, you will learn so much and you'll love it. It's fun.